Hey guys, welcome back to Rossoneri TV. I'm Gio and I'm here for the match preview of Palermo against AC Milan. Match that will be played on Sunday, November 6th at 3 p.m. Italian time at the Stadio Renzo Barbera. It's another great opportunity for Milan to pick up another three points to add to their tally as they're facing 19th place Palermo, a team that has only won one match so far uh, this season, and that was back in September. Now, some people might say that they're due for a win well I definitely hope that that won't come against Milan uh, and Palermo really is a team that hasn't scored many goals so far this season they have only scored eight and five of them came through Nesterovsky a player that has been so vital and important to them however with the lack of support from his teammates he hasn't been able to get uh, game winners and really they have only been consolation goals but still five goals is a pretty impressive figure for a player that doesn't have much support in a team like Palermo. Now they also concede a lot of goals. They have conceded 21 so far and hopefully Milan take advantage of that. It was supposed to be the case against Pescara last week at the San Siro. However, Milan didn't do anything. They have only scored one goal against them and that was through a brilliant free kick from Giacomo Bonaventura. So hopefully tomorrow will be a different case on paper, it's supposed to be an easy match. However, I never really trust these type of games uh, against teams like Palermo, especially when we play away from home. Somehow, uh, they always become these teams that are unbeatable once we play them away. Uh, so hopefully that won't be the case. Hopefully Milan will get a pretty easy fixture against Palermo, but I don't think that will be it. Uh, I think Palermo will make Milan work really hard if they want to get the win. Now, in terms of the lineup and uh, starting 11, uh, we have some great news for Milan because Milan can look on the bright side as Antonelli and Matty Fernandez are back from injury and they have been called up by Montella to feature in this match. While they will be starting from the bench, you just never know, maybe at some given time they can make an appearance tomorrow, but it is always good to get these players back from injury as it adds to the depth of the team. Now let's take a look at the probable starting 11 against Palermo as Donnarumma is expected to start in net. Abate, Paletta, Romagnoli and Deschio will make up the defense. Kuchka, Locatelli and Pasalic in the midfield with Suso, Baca and Bonaventura up front. Now, just some quick notes regarding this probable starting 11. Uh, we're going to see Paleta once again reintegrated in that defense after coming back from suspension. Gustavo Gomez had a good game against Pescara last weekend, but Paleta is obviously the preferred center back. So once again, he will be paired up with Romagnoli. Now, in the midfield, we could see that Pasalic uh, will be starting as the left mid. I think he did uh, quite well when he came on against uh, Pescara. I'm looking to see if he's going to improve on that performance uh, from last week. I think he definitely could. But as a left mid to start, that is great to see. Pasalic and Locatelli. Playing together, two young uh, players, I think it will be nice to see them uh, paired up and see what kind of partnership they can really develop tomorrow. Bonaventura will be starting as a left winger uh, and that is due to Niang not being able to play in this match. He hasn't been called up as he's uh, ill. Uh, maybe you might recall last week I told you that um, Niang had the opportunity of not getting called up because uh, he had fever. Well, that's the case this week. Uh, he hasn't been called up due to the illness and Bonaventura will be starting. Hopefully, he will be supporting Baca well. Uh, I mean, Bonaventura is known to play in that position. We've seen him all year round last season, so I don't think he's going to have any problem whatsoever, especially due to the fact that he has been one of the most inform players for Milan in recent weeks so I think he could even contribute more to Baca a player that hasn't scored in his last five appearances so hopefully Baca will once again get back on the score sheet as he definitely needs to do so to boost his morale so let me know guys in the comment section what do you think about this match you think it's going to be an easy road for Milan or you think Palermo will make it tough for us to get the win let me know your score predictions and scores in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Rossoneri TV to stay updated with everything going on at AC Milan. And I'll catch you guys later for another video. This has been Gio signing off and as always, Forza Milan!